Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the different types of sterilization and disinfectants. To disinfect something is to decrease the number of pathogens and microbes to the point where it doesn't cause infections anymore. To sterilize something is to completely wipe out all life form and this equipment, including bacteria, fungi, protozoa, spores, literally everything. Most surgical equipments are sterilized. Starting with the most reliable sterilization technique, autoclave. To use it, we put the equipment we want to sterilize in a chamber with very high pressure and steamed heat. This extreme environment normally kills everything, but it doesn't kill the already dead prion protein. Next we have alcohol, which is the most common disinfecting method. Even as low as 60% alcohol can be effective in killing most bacteria, including tuberculosis. The disinfecting solution has to contain some water. Alcohol is not sporicidal. It does not kill spores. Next we have hydrogen peroxide. This is a free radical generator which means that it uses oxygen to oxidize and kill the bacteria. Hydrogen peroxide is excellent in killing bacteria and other organisms that are attached to unorganic material. That's why it's excellent in cleaning dirty wounds. It's also sporicidal. It does kill spores. Next we have chlorine, which is also a strong oxidant. It's very effective in destroying protein and spores. Next we have chlorhexidine. It's a very strong toxin. It destroys cell membranes of anything that it comes in contact with. And it's highly neurotoxic. So it's contraindicated in neurosurgeries, auto and ophthalmic surgeries. Next we have ethylene oxide. This is an alkaline product with good sporicidal activity. Next we have iodine and its derivative products. It halogenizes genetic materials and proteins, which means that it adds a hydrogen atom to their structure. This causes the disruption of genome and denature of protein. Its sporicidal activity is not well understood. It's very commonly used in surgeries to clean the wounds. However, new studies are favoring the use of chlorhexidine and alcohol. And finally, we have quaternary amines. This work, just like amphotericine B, by increasing the permeability of the cell membrane. These are not sporicidal. And here's a small quiz for you. The answer is by using formaldehyde, which cross-links DNA and destroys proteins. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.